An infant chimp may seem secure within the bosom of his group, but this is not always true. A male has stolen a baby chimp from its frantic mother, who follows in desperate pursuit. In the Mahali Mountains, south of Gombe, researchers have recorded this terrible event not once, but seven times, and are at a loss to explain it. The alpha male is now in possession of the screaming infant. He actually beats back the mother with her own baby. Both mother and baby are members of this male's group, and the infant was presumably sired by one of the group's members. Males have been known to kill babies sired by outsiders, but this kidnapper could very well be the baby's father. The infant is killed by a bite to the face. Group members share in the macabre feast, just as if it were a monkey. Infanticide and cannibalism. Dark reflections of our common legacy. Living deep in the Thai rainforest of West Africa, there's an animal community with closer links to us humans than any other yet discovered. The chimpanzee. A familiar creature that has a rarely seen habit. This group has 60 members, dominated by seven adult males. It includes 32 juveniles and 21 females with young. Together, they're one big happy family. Each day, they walk over six kilometers in their search for food, a family outing. The Thai forest covers over 4,000 square kilometers in the Ivory Coast and is primary rainforest. The chimps indulge in a varied diet, tucking into leaves, fruits, honey, and fungi. But surprisingly for many people, Chimpanzees are not vegetarian. They're powerful predators. In fact, they're a herbivore's worst nightmare. They eat vegetarians alive. They hunt and prey on leaf-eating monkeys like this red colobus, who also make their home here. To catch these meaty snacks, the chimps work together. Patrolling the forest floor, they have to spot lunch before lunch spots them. Each hunter has a role in this highly organized team. This is the driver. It's his job to flush the monkeys out. This is the blocker. It's his job to block the escape route. This is the ambusher, who finally closes the trap. While these three head the treetop hunt, the rest of the troop monitor from the forest floor, ready to dash ahead and intercept the colobus should they make a break. The driver attacks, and the chase is on. The ambusher charges in to close the trap. But the agile red colobus leaps across a gap too wide for the chimps. Unable to follow, they rush to the ground, hoping to catch up with their quarry. The attack does not go according to plan. Staying in the high, thin branches, beyond the chimps' reach, the red colobus escape. But this time, the chimps' luck turns. There are some black and white colobus mixed in with the reds. Slower and quieter, these monkeys are in fact the chimps' favorite treat. 
with chimps in the trees and on the ground. The hunt is back on. In the confusion, a black and white colobus makes a fatal mistake and leaps straight into the pack. With the food hauled to the ground, the excited chimps gather in a noisy scrum, hungry for flesh. Although this organized hunt now looks like a disorganized scramble, it's always the dominant males who get the choicest cuts. This scene looks barbaric, but the chimps are indulging in an infrequent treat. Mostly vegetarian, meat only forms a very small part of their diet. It's a delicacy rather as we enjoy a fine sirloin steak with pomme frites and pepper sauce. This rarely seen act of hunting, eating and sharing is unique among